Gear is one of the largest technology suppliers for food processing and a wide range of other industries, including dairy, pharma and beverages. They've been around for over 100 years with nearly 19,000 employees and consolidated revenues in 2018 of around 4.8 billion euros. I'm Andrew Wilson and I'm in Davos to talk to a company that says it's engineering for a better world. Stefan, good to talk to you. Thanks for joining us. I think it's fair to say that there's a lot of people that haven't heard of Gear, but given that you had 5 billion turnover in 2018, you're a significant company. Tell me a bit about Gear. Gear is a quite experienced company. We started in 1881, so we are around for a while. And uh, Gear is active in the area of food processing, beverages, dairy farming, dairy processing. So everything which has to do with uh, food and beverage or also with pharmaceuticals. This is our business. We do the machineries and the service and the processes for customers who are producing final products for the end users. And I suppose the company's so been around so long, there must be quite an evolution. Yeah, absolutely. Expertise. Absolutely. There was a quite a, of an evolution. So the company was also active in, uh, in, in chemicals, in mining. Uh, there is a lot of heritage in this company, but we focused during the last 10 to 20 years, I would say, we fo focused very much uh, on the fields I mentioned. And today we have about 70% of our focus is food and beverage only. Front and center of your company message is this phrase, engineering for a better world. Tell me what that message is Yeah, about. absolutely. So we have really a lot of brilliant and dedicated and committed engineers all over the world. And this is what is a strength of GEA because we want to see all our engineers looking for better solutions for a better world. Uh, that means we want to have uh, sustainability, we want to have healthy food and you know that there are a lot of trends going on in the industry and people demand uh, more healthy food for instance, more sustainability and this is all what our engineers Interesting you use that word sustainability, I was going to ask you about that. Tell me a bit more about sustainability within your company. I mean sustainability is, is, is a big issue nowadays and uh, sustainability has a lot to do with environment but also with economy and with, with, with many, many things and for us it's, it's rather a journey than a destination. So we always try to become better in providing products for our customers which consumes less energy or we also have uh, developed products where customers can operate our machineries with uh, neutral wastewater for instance, things like that. Give me an idea about how active you are in the food processing business for example, an example of, uh, of, of the kind of work you do there. For instance we do uh, pasta machinery, so if you, if you eat good and nice pasta, this is very likely made on our machines. Uh, if, you, if you drink milk or yogurts or ice cream, these are all things uh, which are made on our machines or beer. Uh, also many, uh, many wines are, are separated or decanted with our machinery, so these are some examples. We also are active in the area of smoothies. This is all, these are all products which are coming from our machines. It's interesting, looking from the outside, the smoothie operator, he knows about his smoothies and he asks you for the machines to help him make it and uh, likewise any other kind of product or pasta constructor, but there must be an element of collaboration. They come to you and you say, there's this way of doing it or also have you considered this way? I mean, is there a Yeah, absolutely. We have a lot of, of laboratories in our sites worldwide where customers are coming, where we, where we uh, test together with them what is the best process to achieve the result they want to achieve. And then we scale it up. So we have a lot of uh, smaller devices where we can test how it works. If we do, for instance, a milk powder or infant formula made out of milk powder, we have uh, smaller spray dryers and we test it and once we have the result we need uh, developed together with our customer then we scale it up to the huge uh, production line. So aside from food production, what other areas are you, are you busy in? For instance, we are also in the area of pharmaceuticals. So we produce machineries for tablet presses. We also have a very special technology. For instance, we do deep freezers for um, medicals, for liquid medicals. So we can take out the whole liquid from the medicine 
And what remains is a kind of pulver which you can transport also to countries like Africa without cooling. And you simply add some, some water, you shake it and you have back your medicine. So things like that. And how much is digitization, data, artificial intelligence, how much is that getting involved in your work now? Of course, it's also a big, big issue nowadays. And uh, interestingly, you also know we have a, a division called farm technology where we start uh, in a farm with the milking process. So we have our automatic milking systems where we have a lot of uh, digitization because all the cows have a transponder, so we know all the cows, let's say, by name when they come. We know how much milk they give. We know uh, what kind of, of, uh, of food they need to give us the best milk. So there's a lot of digitization around this, uh, this process. What makes people come to you? There must be all sorts of possibilities in terms of plant machinery, processing and so yeah. on. What kind of relationships do you have with the, with the end product? I would say we have uh, very, very good and long-lasting relationships with uh, big, big, global, well-known brands. Uh, because they know GEA as a technology and engineering company, we are well known in our industry as a very reliable and, uh, and experienced producer of machineries. We are not the cheapest one, we are uh, really based on technology and experience and our customers love how we execute projects, we are reliable, we have a lot of dedicated engineers and staff who is working on the site. With the, such a variety of projects, how do you keep the coherence within the company, the kind of the company message or the ethos? How do you keep that? Yeah, focused? I mean, I mean we, are, we are quite a complex company, let's say, to be honest, but uh, we trust on a lot of very dedicated speedboats, let's say, which we have in our conglomerate. And we have a lot of, of really uh, uh, very, very educated and, uh, and brilliant uh, entrepreneurs within our company. And they're doing completely different businesses, but they all belong to the big GEA group. Stefan, final thought then. Everyone's concerned about food production long term on the planet now. I mean, what are your concerns? Are you optimistic for the future? I'm very optimistic because there is a need to feed the world. That's very clear. Population is growing and there is also a trend to more healthy food and uh, there is a trend of urbanization. So there are many challenges we have in this industry and we are working uh, very much together with our customers. How can we make food safer? It has uh, something to do with traceability of food with uh, keeping food long or fresh, that we can transport it without cooling because cooling consumes energy, this is not sustainable. So things like that are, are on our minds and, uh, and this is what we are working on. Stefan, thanks very much. Good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.